So the topic of this performance is noise. Now I live in a really, really nice apartment in a really stylish neighbourhood. But the only problem is, is that's what's happened over the last 10 years is people have got stripped away the carpet and they've replaced carpet with tiles because tiles are so much healthier. They don't harbour little mites and little nasty little insects and you know, feed cockroaches and weevils and all that sort of shit. You know, tiles, pretty easy to lay down and they're easy to keep clean. But the only problem with tiles is it changes the acoustics. So unless you want to be sort of like um, singing some aria in some great cathedral where you just want to get those really, really great acoustics, you know, what we want in a home is like something which is soundproof, you know, carpeted floors, carpeted walls and carpeted ceilings. But what we get, we get concrete ceilings and we get tile floors. So then you get a neighbour upstairs and as they shift their uh, furniture around, the chairs and the table, you just get this grinding sound all the time. Easily rectified if they're aware that it's disturbing the neighbours downstairs by just putting those little felt pieces on the bottom of the furniture and it makes it so much softer. And then, of course, if they're kids, if they've got children, especially like little kids, little kids, and they, and they run around, and you get tap, 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 tap. And then, of course, they've got the little kitty toys, and they, they, you know, they're rolling these little, and they've got wheels on it, and it's all plastic and hard nowadays, and they roll the wheels across the tiles, it goes across the grouting, and it's just like, like, a, like, like a train, you know, it's just hurts those, those ears and then of course there's the toilet which we shall talk about and uh, vacuuming you know and of course if your neighbours really want to keep their place clean they're vacuuming all the time and of course the little wheels and the vacuum cleaner are just sort of going grinding across the uh, the grounding in the tiles and as the vacuum cleaner knocks up against furniture and against the walls, it just goes all the way down. And there's this horrible noises. Um, now, my neighbours are really, really good. Um, occasionally over the back, you know, I hear like a TV. But there's been some places where the TV has just been... There's nothing worse, is it, than listening to somebody else's TV, you know? So okay, if it's your own TV, but somebody else's TV, you're playing in the middle of the night or at the wrong time of the day. It's really, really stressful. Um, and I got these great neighbours and they got these motorbikes, beautiful motorbikes. Broom, 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 broom. A beautiful sound. And then the guys have got their V8s, the V8 utes, and uh, they got their other sound. And they do their burnouts occasionally. <laughs> Beautiful, except that if I'm actually trying to record something, it's just like, shit, how do I block it all out? How do I block that noise out? And uh, next door, there's an office block next door. and They've got these industrial air conditioners there. And for a long while, it was just actually like living right next to the beach where there was a... <laughs> just imagine you're at the beach and you get those massive waves and they're grinding it all the time. It was really, really loud. It was like about 100 decibels. Anyway, I spoke to the body corp and they were really good. And the technicians come out and they actually fine-tune the air cons and the noise went right down to about 2 decibels. It was really beautiful. But then over a period of weeks, it's like they've started to come back up. And what they've, what they've done is they've set it so that it switches on and off. So even though now the volume's really low, in the middle of the night, you can hear it, the motor. Click in. Go, and it just runs, you know, for about 10 minutes. It's really quite quiet. But it's fired off the startle reflex in the brain. And then when it switches off, and it goes quiet, once again, it fires off the startle reflex. 10 minutes later. And so we have to, we have to learn how to deal with that and tell the unconscious mind, no, no, that's cool. Don't need to worry about that. It's all right. It's all right. And then there's the occasional dog. You know, and it was a time when people had big dogs, real dogs, like German shepherds. You know. 
German Shepherds, those types of dogs, are great. They don't really bark much. They're pretty good. Labradors are the best dogs. But now everybody you know, on the Gold Coast has this little dog. Everybody has to have a little dog because you can carry the little dog. You, know, you see the blonde Botox Gold Coast woman, you know, standing in front of a waterfront property holding this little dog. But they've been genetically engineered to yap, you know. And they go, yap, 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 yap. Yep, 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 Anyway, so that quiets down. But then there's like the burglar alarm across the road. There's like, big office block, some corporate building, you know. Because they're a corporate building, they need security. And that means that, you know, periodically, you know, they've got to actually let everybody know they've got a burglar system. And so the blue light, which is fine because you can just cover your eyes. But there's this piercing piercing siren which goes on for hours and hours and then of course once in a while there's somebody's car alarm goes off it's like yeah once a year you know somebody has a party which is not bad, not bad considering uh, some places I've been at that parties you know, every night. So anyway, I was on Facebook, on Facebook, and somebody posted this image. And it was from America, and it showed like it, a photograph they'd taken at Walmart, which I assume is something like our Coles and Woolies in Australia, and a picture of all these assault rifles. And the caption read, We don't need assault rifles. And I look to that and I go, yes, we do. <laughs> if we had assault rifles, if I could go down to Woolies right now, to Kmart right now, if I could buy myself an assault rifle, and if I could bring it home, proudly bring it home, and then put a sign at the front of my place to say, the owner of this apartment proudly owns this assault rifle, and he's got like a hundred rounds of ammunition, which he's just waiting to, to, to try out. I'm sure there would be deafening silence. Deafening silence in my neighbourhood. And then I could film and I could get to sleep and it would be really peaceful. <laughs>